All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. And let's be honest here, Motorola is doing their thing. So um, last year I bought you, I brought you the Moto Z Play uh, from, from the Verizon version. This is the Verizon version of the Moto Z2 Play because it is unlocked. And so there's no need for me to spend $4.99. I do get 64 gigs on board storage with the other one, but I'm cool with that because this has an SD card slot. And um, it pretty much is the same phone with just 32 gigs on board storage. So you've got a 3,000 milliamp hour battery in here. You've got a 12 megapixel on the back. Let's get this thing opened. Don't want to bore you. So, um, oh, oh, it slides out. Okay. There it is in all its glory. So no, um, no, no mods in here this time. Uh, and again, again, this is the LTE version from Verizon, but it is unlocked to all GSM providers. Uh, so no, no, no mods or anything in the box this time. That's kind of, kind of crazy that they did that. Uh, all I did was I walked into Best Buy and oh, oh man, I love this hardware. I love this hardware. Wow. So I got some old cases. And maybe they'll work with this. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but it would have been nice to get a mod in the box, man. That, that would have been really sweet for them to do that. Uh, but they didn't. They didn't give us anything uh, this time. And we're just going to have to live with that. Uh, but uh, this is what you do get in the box. You just get a charging brick. And it should be a semi in here somewhere. Uh, and, and that's pretty much it. But we're going to get the phone opened up for you. You're probably saying, man, Jay, you on your Motorola kick. Oh, yeah. I've always been a supporter of, of Motorola devices. And you guys know I really like the... Um, Moto Z, Pl Z, Z Play. So I'm going to pop this uh, SIM card out of here because I don't want to activate it on Verizon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to activate it with my T-Mobile SIM card. Uh, you can see it's probably Verizon SIM in here. Yep. So we'll pop this out. And this does take a Nano SIM. Pop that out. I'm not going to put my T-Mobile SIM card in here just to speed up. Well, I guess I could, right? I guess I could put it in here. That thing is beautiful. So we're gonna pop open, take my SIM card out of this other phone here, because I've been testing out so many phones, especially I've been reviewing Motorola phones like just crazy. But I'm gonna put it in here because you guys are gonna wanna see that it's actually working. You should know by now though that the, the Verizon phones are, um, this is actually a postpaid Verizon phone, so it's gonna definitely be unlocked. I've already talked about this in another video. So let's put this in here. And I'll grab an SD card probably if I need to. Uh, but here is my SIM card from T-Mobile. I'm going to put it in. I think it goes like this. Yeah. And uh, I've got a power button on this side here. And you got the volume rocker ridge power button you've got that beautiful 12 megapixel camera on the back a little branding there but i'm going to cover that with a mod type c headphone jack <laughs> uh you got the antenna lines noise cancellation microphone volume up and down let's get this thing powered on here you've got the fingerprint reader on-screen buttons this is going to be really nice uh led flash up top and uh camera on the front is a 5 megapixel at 2.2 and the rear Hello, Moto. Oh, oh shoot let's get this bad boy going Woo! all right so uh, on the rear you've got the 12 megapixel uh, at 1.7 aperture shoots in 4k shoots at 1080p at 6 frames per second look at this gorgeous screen I'm gonna get this set up uh, I'm not gonna bore you with the setup but I'll get into uh, the actual setup here and um, I'll be right back all right guys so I do have a setup now this beautiful display from Motorola let's go into about here I do I do have my T-Mobile SIM card in there so it's ready to go and actually I've gotten used to um, let me turn on this adaptive brightness here so you can get a little bit lower um, I've, I've gotten used to the uh, to the UI here from Motorola, this new rounded, because it's pretty much just like a pixel or something like that. So uh, let's go in here and turn this down just a little bit. It can look better on camera for you guys. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, but here we are out of the box. This is what we're this is what we're looking at. So uh, this phone is splash and dust resistant, um, and you know 
for 408 bucks, there's also already a system update ready to go for me. So I'll do all that after I'm done shooting this quick video. But here it is, man. I mean, the phone is super thin. I mean, I've got, what, two gigs of RAM or three gigs? I think I have four gigs of RAM. I don't know. Let me check the Verizon. I think the Verizon one has four gigs of RAM. It's got to be a way to go in here and check the hardware. Let's see. You go to About, and you go to Hardware. So I've got three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs on board storage. So the other version has, um, the other version has uh, four gigs with 64. So you get one more gig and you get, but you know this is perfectly fine for me. So you get this thin profile right here, man. This is crazy. Six millimeters. I mean, come on, Motorola. Metal design. I actually do like this one a little bit better. The design better than the um, the other Z Play. Z Play, other play is still good, and you know, it, you know, you get 500 milliamps more on battery, but you do get a different design. So um, you get this thin frame, and you have that camera bump. But I'll try some of my other cases that I got for the other Moto Z, uh, and see if they still fit, because I've got some down there. Um, splash and dust resistant, 1080p uh, AMOLED display. Excuse me, Super AMOLED display. Beautiful, beautiful display. Uh, again, this is going to be a joy to use because you know I've been on my Motorola kick lately. And I'm like really excited to be able to bring you this phone. I, I put this off long enough. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and grab it. And I'm so excited. Uh, so, you know, again, I do have my T-Mobile SIM card in here um, and because these phones are factory unlocked. So bloatware, you've got this messaging app right here. Let me see if I can show you guys that you can disable some of this stuff because you can't remove a lot of these things, but you can definitely disable them. So people who might want to... Um, uh, you know, get the Verizon. I'm going to tell everybody to buy the Verizon version over the unlocked version if you can. You're going to save a hundred bucks, and yeah, you don't get um, you don't get the four gigs and 64. But these phones have adaptive storage, so if that's important to you, definitely go ahead and get the um, get the other one, get the officially unlocked one. But I'm all about you guys trying to save money, and I'm, I'm going to help you try to save as much money as possible. That's why I, I'm the risk taker, I guess, for some people that might be worried about certain things. I'm all for, um, you know, taking the risk and try, trial and error for you guys. No problem with doing that. So this is what I do for any Verizon phone. I go in and remove any bloatware that I can or at least disable it if I can. That's Verizon um, because I won't use any of this stuff. I'm not going to use it with Verizon at all. Uh, so um, this is what you would do if you decide to go in and pick up the Verizon version at Best Buy or order, order directly from um, Motorola.com. You can do it. You're, there's no restrictions about it. I just walked into Best Buy. Uh, this phone costs four hundred eight dollars outright, uh, and um, this is what you can do once you grab yours. I mean, this one, they're not going to say anything about hey, are you activating? They're not going to say anything like that. They shouldn't. If you're buying outright, you know, there's really nothing for them to say to you. Uh, so this is all I do. I go in and disable anything Verizon. And then pretty much I head back out. So the messaging app has disappeared. I'll put my other messaging app there, the um, mo the uh, the official, uh, this one down here. It's already on here. Good. This one right here. I'll drop that one down there. And there you have it. So I'm really ready to test out this camera for you guys. I did set up the fingerprint reader and put in my unlock code for the first time. Um, you can actually lock this phone with, you know, holding it down like this. Most Motorola phones are like this now. Uh, this is a really sexy phone in person. A lot bigger than I thought it was. Let me grab my um, OnePlus because it's just the phone that's sitting by me. Here's the OnePlus. So the, it's about the size of the OnePlus. It's just a hair wider, but it's I mean, as far as height goes, it's a it's about the same height almost, but it's definitely a little wider and for sure thinner. Uh, so this is a quick example of what it looks like next to that phone, but that gives you an idea of what you're going to be getting into if you decide to get this phone. This is a beautiful device. I will try some of my older cases, uh, and I'm going to be using this phone with my main SIM card for a little bit. Uh, I've been testing the K20. If you've been following me on, on, in, on social media, I've been testing this phone here lately to get you guys some kind of review. So uh, this is just an unboxing and first impressions of the Moto Z2 Play. I hate that I waited this long to get it. This is sexy. Wow. This thing is gorgeous. Um, but this is just a first impressions and hands-on for the Moto Z2 Play. I'm super excited to finally get this in, man. Oh, I'm excited, man. Are you excited? 
I hope so. Because your man Jay Wood is going to review this for you, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy it. So stick around for more, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. First impressions, by the way, I'm totally impressed.